Philippines medicine, pharma train on the whole uh, drug development process, and again, pharmacovigilance, his training program with, with AU2P. So this represents 15 projects, as I mentioned, and uh, something like uh, 900, uh, sorry, 395 teams working together for a total budget of uh, 281 million. The second call for proposal, there were nine topics were published, uh, mainly in efficacy and knowledge management. So if we look at efficacy, the topics which were uh, published were in the domain of inflammation, infectious disease and cancer, and as I mentioned, knowledge management. Three projects were in the field of uh, knowledge management. So we are right now in the situation where we are negotiating the grant agreement for this project, which means that the first and second evaluation has been achieved. The, uh, how to say, the full project proposal with the consortium academic and the consortium of uh, EFPR are working together to uh, make sure that all the requirements that are in the consensus report coming from the experts during the evaluation are followed and uh, of course parallelly they are working on the project agreement where they are really putting together the way they are going to exploit and to work in, within the uh, um, IPR rules. So uh, within this call we received uh, 124 expression of interest. Uh, this has led to the participation of 1,118 1, participants, among them 38 patient organizations and 204 SMEs. And all this process has needed the expertise and the help of these 64 experts and three independent observers which comes and uh, see how the procedure is ruled, how the evaluation are uh, conducted and uh, ultimately they provide a report which is given to the governing board and then make available on our website, publicly available on our website. So here again is the list of the project that we are negotiating for the time being. So there, will, there was three projects in the domain of cancer, uh, so efficacy, so there, was, there is one on new tools for target validation to improve uh, drug efficacy. Another one on molecular biomarker, which uh, needs to accelerate, accelerate in the cancer therapy development and refining patient care. And finally, one on imaging biomarker for anti-cancer drug development. Uh, another project which is in a completely different field because it tackles the bacterial diagnosis and it is on identification and development of rapid point uh, of care diagnostic as I mentioned for the bacterial diagnostic and this will be to facilitate co and uh, conduct of clinical trial as well as clinical practice. There are two other projects in the field of chronic ill disease with uh, uh, understanding aberrant adaptive uh, immune mechanism and one in chronic immune mediated disease breeding between the animal models and the human models. In fact, these two projects have joined forces and have uh, decided to work together since there is uh, one which is in basic research and the other one which is uh, as animal model. So for the time being, this should be corrected and should be just one project but the, um, to say the resources will be additional for these two projects. Then we have three other projects which are in the domain of knowledge management and uh, one which is on drug disease modeling, the other one which is in open pharmacology space and finally the one in electronic health records. Okay. So what, what did we learn from this ongoing project? Sorry, five minutes, okay. So it's uh, almost finished. So what did we learn from this ongoing project? Is really that uh, IMI is more than what we called a public-private partnership because it has, uh, the, the, it has been very successful in involving other partnership than the one we just mentioned like academic and, uh, and, uh, uh, and the industrial pharmaceutical company. It has successful in the way that a lot of regulatory agencies, national level and European level are participating 
relating to the project or the program as well as patient organization and uh, SMS. As I mentioned also to get to, uh, just a moment ago, there was a lot of enthusiasm to answer the first call for proposal as it is for the second call for proposal. And this puts together, provide together a proof of concept of the evidence of the needs of such uh, uh, public-private partnership. And finally, what is uh, quite uh, important to keep in mind and to really define is the boundary of the or the, the definition of the pre-competitive research itself and the IP rules that sometimes are difficult to uh, define within a project where really people have to work together and slowly come to uh, an agreement. So here comes now the third call for proposal that I just mentioned also earlier, which, is, uh, uh, which was launched last week. And we can see here that we have three projects in the, in the area of safety, three projects in the area of efficacy, and one project in education and training. It's uh, the seventh one, but it's not the least one because it's really putting the patient in the middle of all this endeavor, which is really trying to foster a program for a patient awareness on pharmaceutical innovation. Other projects in the area of uh, efficacy are the one on development of personalized medicine approaches for diabetes, uh, translational endpoints in autism, in neuroscience, for tuberculosis, a project on preclinical model and tools for uh, tuberculosis medicine research. As we mentioned, the tools and technologies um, uh, are really in the, the heart of IMI. Uh, the three projects in, uh, in safety are the one on immunosafety of vaccine, trying to understand uh, all the adverse EFA events while uh, during the process of vaccination, the early inflammation, the autoimmune process, and the allergy as uh, adverse events, uh, the immunogenicity of uh, biopharmaceutical, uh, the, what are the risk minimization of antibody to biopharmaceutical, and in the first point here is really the prediction of uh, drug-induced uh, liver injury in men. So the indication for this duration of the project will be five years. The maximum financial IMI contribution for this uh, seven uh, topic will be around 114 million euros. The size of the consortium, I mean, this is a question which is recurrent. I mean, uh, has to be, to be, you have to bear in mind that the more important is to put the size compatible with the scientific goal that are uh, uh, needed and the expectation and key deliverables of this project. We just published on our website clarification on rules for submission and participation to this project as well as an IP guidance note which will be very soon available to facilitate the work of the uh, lawyers which will write the project agreement of the project and of course uh, we just published uh, a link to a partner search tools which means that if you are in need for identifying a specific expertise while your uh, project is more or less, uh, um, uh, your network is more or less um, finish, I mean, you need to complete it with a specific expertise, you may find this expertise in this new uh, IT partner tool, search tool. So these are the deadlines. So uh, as I mentioned, uh, on the 22nd uh, was the info day announcing the third call pro program or project, the uh, official launch. And then we have the submission of the expression of interest coming from the applicant consortium on the 18th of, Ju of uh, January. Then we have this evaluation period and the governing board will deliver its results uh, for the first stage evaluation in May. March. Uh, as soon as this will be published and known by the participant, then they will work on the full project proposal for which the submission date will be the 15th of June and uh, organization of the panel and finally the results of this uh, third call evaluation. So if any of you is interested to follow, we will organize webinar on these different uh, uh, topics which are published in the third call. 
I mean, this will be exactly the different workshops which were organized at the Info Day on the 27th of October. All the, uh, the topic writer of uh, the different topic which are here, the topic writer coming from the EFPI company will come and give a talk on what are really, what is exactly the topic about and what are exactly their needs and how they see the project itself. And here you see the date which uh, the, this uh, webinar will be organized and of course we will leave you uh, the a link to uh, connect on uh, on the IMI website to have access to the webinar. So this is what just the uh, new, uh, sorry, the new uh, IMI partner search tool that I mentioned earlier and these are the different links where you can eventually uh, join and need to how to say have access to have information concerning it. And thank you for your attention and thank you for seeing